what happens now that we're in the spirit family, it goes from condemnation to conviction. The spirit convicts us of our wrong. The spirit con convicts us of our unrighteousness, our, our uh, 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 falling short of the glory of God. See, when I do wrong and I'm in my right, and I'm in my right mind, I don't feel condemned. I said, man, I shouldn't have did that. I feel convicted. God has presented my faults before me. He's not passing judgment on me. He's presented my faults before me. And it's in the Holy Spirit in me because I listen. Because I live by the law of the spirit of life, he gives me life and allows me to pick myself back up and continue on the path. Right. Why? Because I'm in Christ Jesus. Why? Because I know that God said, I, I will not condemn you of your sins. Just things that we're going to do throughout the rest of our life. Maybe not in, in good conscience. Making a bad decision. And we're going to, at, maybe at times you're going to feel like, oh, I wish I was gay. I wish I would have never done that. You're condemning yourself. Mm -hmm. This condemnation that is talked about in Romans 8, 1 is a, is, is a, 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 a sentence of mandatory, a, a, a damnatory sentence. A damnatory sentence. Basically what you're saying is, I wish I was dead. You're damning yourself. Mm -hmm. I said, I come, I, I died I lived this life. I died that you may be made free. Why do you continue to feel guilty about what you're doing? If you're living according to the Spirit, if you're walking after the Spirit, there is no more condemnation that we need to feel. Again, I'm not freeing anyone from the repercussions of the sin because God will chase him whom he loves. Right. Hebrews chapter 12. He, he will do all that. But see, even in the midst of that chastening, God never intends for us to feel guilty. He never intends for us to, to, to condemn us. So why God might have you at a low spot in your life is no need to feel guilty about the actions, the, the wrongs that you've done in the past. Look at it as when God is chasing me. He, he's, 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 he, he, he's forming me all over. He's, 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 improved, he's purging me of things that are wrong. If you did something wrong, so be it. Look at what God's telling you through it. But don't sit there and have you hold your head down. I should have never did that. That's not conviction. That's, that's condemnation. That's self-condemnation. Conviction is, oh, I did it, but hey, I know how to, I know how to correct it next time. Right. Put, these, put these measures in place. Make sure I don't do this. Make sure I don't go here. Make sure I don't do this. Right. That's conviction. Conviction leads to, to repentance. Right. Repentance leads to change. Right. 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 No more guilt. 